Alright, what's up? I'm Charm City 187 and uh yo, I'm sorry I'm looking up and watching the uh NFL network still, but Harbaugh just gave his press conference, uh Ray Lewis out for the season. Same with Ladarius Webb. Um with Ray Lewis, yo, I saw it right when it happened. Like he was making the tackle, he had his arm was flexed and it went like completely limp and it looked like somebody let the air out of a tire on his forearm like it just slowly withered away and it completely tore his tricep um, I'm thinking he's probably going to retire at the end of the season if he doesn't retire he'll probably play one more season because I think that's all he has left uh, from his last uh, when he last uh, renewed his contract I think he uh, did it for five years, and that was like three three seasons ago. So he should have one more left after this season. So if we're lucky, we'll have him one more year. If not, yesterday was his last game, and that would be a shame if yesterday were his last game. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm so disgusted with these fucking faggots on Twitter. Tweeting about how they're so glad he's uh got injured and out for the season. It's like, come on, man. It's fucking probably one of the best, if not the best, person to ever step on the football field. If you love, if you like football at all, you have to love Ray Lewis. Like he is football. Like every he eat, breathe, and sleeps football. That's what he's about. Um, same thing happened last year, yo. He he got injured. I think it was his toe. Four to six games he didn't play, and I think we won every one of them. And at the time, we beat what everybody was saying was the best team in the NFL and the Forty ers on Thanksgiving night. So I mean. Yeah, it sucks that he's out for the rest of the season, but we can still play. I mean, and I've been watching NFL Rewind since the minute the game ended yesterday. I've been watching uh, last year's both games against the Texans and the game against the Chiefs and the game against the Cowboys. Um, I watched the coaches' film for the two Texans games and the Chiefs game. The coaches' film isn't out for the uh, Cowboys game. But, I mean, just from watching the Texans game and the Chiefs game, I can already see what our defense is doing wrong. Uh, Last year, Terrence Cody, he could take the center, the left guard, and and have an arm on the left tackle. He was eating up three blockers. Now he can't even take on one blocker. Like, what the fuck happened to our line in the off season? Um, Nada. This is what I'm. This is what I saw from yesterday in the Chiefs game. Terrence Cody will go take the left guard. He 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 can hold the left guard up. Nada can hold the right guard up. But neither one of them take the center. And all the center does is just walk to the second line of our defense, and he's already on a linebacker. That's that's all the hole they need. They can run that play every time and get four to six yards every fucking time they run it. One of them has got to hit the center. Shit, if I were playing, yo, I'd hit, as soon as the motherfucker snapped the ball, I'd fucking put him on his ass and go after the guard. I mean, it's not hard to knock a center on his ass. If anything, as soon as he hikes the ball, just push him down. Make him lay on the ground. I mean, that's all you got to do. Um... Yeah, but just from watching them a couple games, I can see exactly what our defense is doing wrong. And the thing that's really scary is how the fuck doesn't Dean Pease see this shit? Like, and I, 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 they swear by him. I've never liked him. I did not like him in the preseason. Every Remember, everybody was saying shit about how bad our de- defense was during the preseason, and he kept on saying, oh, we're not showing our... Uh, schemes and all this shit. Shit, I don't even see you scheming during the game. Tony Romo was coming to the line with two plays, a run play and a pass play. We were playing pass defense every fucking down. 
And every time you could hear it on the TV, he was killing the play at the line, and then they'd he'd hand the ball off, and we're playing pass defense while they're gashing us for, I think it was like 5.4 yards per carry, an average of 5.4 yards. I mean, it's not hard. It's just common sense. With Darius Webb. Uh, yeah, he's out for the season two. Tore his uh, left ACL. I think three years ago he tore his right ACL. Now he tore his left ACL. Uh, hopefully he can be back. I'll say if he comes back at the beginning of the season next year, he'll have three more months than Peterson had. So hopefully he can do it. But Shockey Brown and... Uh, Shockey Brown's going to have to step up, and I hope they're smart enough to go back and get Danny Gore. I think that's who they cut from the preseason. That guy was a beast, yo. He had like three interceptions and two or three fumble recoveries, and we cut him after the fourth preseason game. Like, <laughs> fucking stupid. But, yeah. All right. I'm out. Peace.